Yeah, we'll take it. I mean, you know, yeah. it's nice, nice, steady. Even. Tell, you, tell you whether you like it or not, but it's <laughs> it, it's yeah. going to happen this yeah. way. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's a wonderful weather pattern, we're in, especially for mid-August. It's hard to, to to argue with right. this. Right. So. Sure. But we'll have a little science for you coming up here before it's all said and okay. done, because that's what we do. Let's go ahead and <laughs> talk about this here. You look out with your St. Joseph Health weather bug camera from the Lexington Financial Center. The roof of Lexington. We're going to start to see these decrease in size over the next hour or so as we're starting to lose the what heating we had. But you notice there is some vertical development here. So that tells you there's a little bit of instability. So every once in a while, one of those updrafts that you see right there gets a little bit of oomph to it and just enough that it's able to kick off a very quick little shower, which we show you here. There isn't much to find. You got one sitting on the Licking River there at the Nicholas Fleming County line. There was one back toward Louisville as well. And you've got one little one there just to the east of Winsbury. And these are literally one isolated cloud that's kind of doing its thing. It's not a big cloud either. Relative tranquility reigns supreme. The other rain, meteorological, chances will be increasing through the weekend and a very small chance of a very rare event. We'll get to all that in a sec. 81 right now at Bluegrass Airport, as warm as we've been all day. The dew points bounce back up. That dew point getting us back into the humid category. We're only humid of flesh and blood were made or something along those lines. It was close. All right, 79 Winchester, 77 in Cynthiana, 80 in Liberty. 83 in Danville tomorrow afternoon, so a degree or two warmer tomorrow. A little more sunshine tomorrow. 84 up in Falmouth, 83 Georgetown for you tomorrow afternoon. 81 comes out of Moorhead, 81 in Campton. You're looking then around the southeast, 80 in McKee, 80 in Hindman, 84 in Hyden, and 82 comes out of Somerset, 83 in Liberty tomorrow afternoon. Now, what we're highlighting today is that our average high is now 86. Okay, why is that a big deal? Because since June 30th through yesterday, it was 87. What's that telling you? Fall is eventually coming, which it ironically does every year. But we also then have the possibility of actually getting to normal on Saturday. Rain chances, you saw as the temperatures went down on Sunday, well, the rain chances go up, and that continues on into Monday and Tuesday. Not a whole lot of rain through Saturday. It's concentrated mainly across the south, a tenth to a quarter of an inch. But then rain becomes a little more substantial Sunday and Monday and also into Tuesday and Wednesday. So that by the time it's all added up, uh, we could be an inch, inch and a half of rain through most of the area over the next week. So high pressure is going overhead tonight. Maine's weather systems are just non-existent for us. So tomorrow, again, some clouds will pop up in the afternoon, but the shower chance really remote. As we roll into Friday, that system around the southeast begins to lob a little moisture back this way, so rain chances begin to increase. That system arrives on Saturday. That'll be your bigger rain chance. So what's the rare event? The possibility, and it is a small chance, and you need to be way away from anything resembling city lights, but the possibility that the aurora could be seen as far south as the Ohio Valley. What happened earlier in the week, the sun belched. It sent out what's called a coronal mass ejection. It's a bunch of charged particles. When that hits our magnetosphere, it fluoresces. And when that happens, uh, you get the glowing of the northern lights or southern lights if you're in the southern hemisphere. It's possible as far south as the Great Lakes, and just maybe that magnetic storm is strong enough that it could be seen into the Ohio Valley, but boy, that is a small, small chance. Check out spaceweather.com, but the current Aurora Oval right now is into southern Canada. You are here, nowhere near it yet, but we'll keep an eye on that tonight. It also could go into tomorrow night. Clear to partly cloudy, patchy fog, low 60s tonight. We're in the low 80s tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny, just a little bit warmer. Mid 80s Friday and Saturday, thunderstorm chances increase. They hit their peak on Sunday and Monday as temperatures fall back to the low 80s.